welcome you here to another edition of the Ty Walker Show. Once again here, broadcasting live from State Fair Community College in Sedalia, Missouri. As today, it's a breaking news episode where we're talking about the Kansas City Royals and what has just happened? The Royals all of a sudden are starting to make some moves and us fans are liking it. I'm going to start off by saying, you know what, I'm sorry for all the comments I made about J.J. Bacolo during the season. Man, he's been making some pretty good moves and... What just happened today and yesterday have been really good moves. So starting off with what happened today, the Kansas City Royals agreed to terms with right-handed starter Michael Waka and outfielder Hunter Renfro. Sources told ESPN, pushing Kansas City's guaranteed free agent spending to over $100 million as the team tries to scrap itself out of the bottom of the American League Central. Michael, Michael Waka, 32 years old, agreed to a th- two-year deal worth $32 million. That includes an opt-out after a first, the first season, sources told. I mean, sources said. The San Diego Padres had an option on Waka for two years, $32 million, but declined it. Waka hit free agency coming after a season in which he went 14-4 with a 3.22 ERA and 134.1 in, innings. He rejoins his teammate from San Diego, Seth Lugo, whom Kansas City gave three years for. 45 million to earlier this week. The Royals' rotation was among the worst in baseball last season. Throw adding Lugo and Waka to a high ceiling 26 year old Cole Reagans and right handed Brady Singer makes the Royals a far more formidable team that, than the one that went 56 and 106, 106 last year. Renfro, who agreed to a two year $14 million deal with an opt out after the first season, will slot into the outfield or designated hitter slot and join a lineup with the star in the making, Bobby Witt Jr., slugging first baseman Vinny Pasquantino and catcher Salvador Perez. He is the second position player signing of the winner, joining utility man Garrett Hampton, previously from Miami, who received a one year $2 million deal. Their 31 year old Renfro hit for Two for 233 with 20 home runs and 60 RBIs last year, splitting time between the Los Angeles Angels and the Cincinnati Reds. The Royals have been the most active teams in free agency in terms of volume, signing six players in total, including right handed reliever Chris Stratton to a two year, $8 million deal, left handed reliever Will Smith to a one year, $5 million deal. In total, Kansas City has guaranteed $105 million to free agency and it could spread far more than that if the pursuit of contract extension with Witt is successful. The Royals are pursuing public money for a new stadium, obviously, and the signing Witt would be the clearest sign to voters that the team attempts to contend, and that's what most of the people in Kansas City want. Also happening yesterday, the Milwaukee Brewers and the Kansas City Royals agreed to trades Right-handed reliever Taylor Clark from Kansas City to Milwaukee in exchange for minor league righty Ryan Brady and minor league inner fielder Cam Devenay, the team announced yesterday. The trade of Clark opens a spot for the 40-man for newly signed Seth Lugo, whose three-year $45 million contract, the third year of which is a player option, is now official. Neither Brady nor Devenay is on the 40-man roster for Milwaukee or Kansas City. Clark has spent the last two seasons in Kansas City after opening his career with a three-year stint in Arizona. He enjoyed a solid 2022 campaign with the Royals, tattling 49 innings of a ERA of 4.04 out of the bullpen with a roughly 23.6% strikeout rate and a brilliant 3.9% walk rate. The success didn't carry over to 2023, however. Clark pitched 59 innings, his highest total since working as a starter for the Diamondbacks as a rookie in 2019, but was clobbered for an ERA of a 5.95. His strikeout rate of 24.4 was a slight improvement pr- over the prior season, but his walk rate more than doubled to 9%. Clark also found his belt to move more sustainable to unfavorable contact. His opponent's barrel ball rate more than doubled from 6.2 to 12.6 in his home runs per nine. Mark accordingly exploding, soaring from a manageable 1.10 to a 1.83. 
Rough season or not, Clark averages a 95 mile per hour on his heater and can miss bats at an average or better than average and has minor league, a minor league option remaining. This makes him a def decent death piece for the Brewers club that tends to rotate quite a few arms through the final couple spots in the bullpen. Clark and the Royals agreed to a pre-tender deal in November, one that commits... 1.25 million to the righty that avoided a hearing in his second season of arbitration eligibility and who remain under team control until the 2025 campaign. For the Royals, they'll be getting Brady, 25 years old, he turned 25 in March, joined the Brewers as an undrafted free agent in the summer 2022. The former BYU righty has delivered excellent results since turning pro, a bit primarily against younger competition. Brady debuted with the Milwaukee's affiliate in the Arizona Complex lead in 2022 and split the 2023 season between High A, which had 49 innings, and Double A with 28 innings. He posted a sub-3 ERA at each spot stop, working to composite a 2.67 earned run average with a 24.2% strikeout rate, a 6% walk rate, and a 50% ground ball rate in 50, 81 professional innings. Brady wasn't ranked among the Brewers' top project in any publication, but a a solid track record to the upper levels of the Kansas City system. Devin A, 27 in April, that's when he turned 27, was Milwaukee's 15th round pick back in 2019. He's played primarily shortstop in pro ball, which was he's played over 1,700 innings, but also has considerable experience at third base, which has played 730 innings at third base, also 515 innings at second base, in addition to brief looks at first base and left field. Devin A. spent the 2023 season with the Brewers Triple AAA club in Nashville, where he batted for 271 and 390 plate appearances. That was about 7% better better than average by a measure of WRC Plus in a hitter-friendly setting. Devin A. walked a healthy 11.8% clip against a lower than average 18.2 strikeout rate. His improved back-to-ball skills and plank discipline in recent seasons while showing more power. Devin A. entered the 2022 season with 12 career home runs, but he popped 23 long balls in 2022 and connected on another this past season. He's a right-handed batter who torched lefties at a 400 batting average clip this year in a 380, 384 clip the year before. Devin A isn't a threat on the base pass and has more protestory numbers versus righties, but he could be a lefty mashing utility infielders if things go well. So obviously we were talking about the starters, the new starter, Michael Waka. What a difference a year makes. Looking at 2023's rotation, kind of a little shaky. Zach Greinke was at the front of the rotation, Jordan, followed by Jordan Lyles, Brady Singer, Brad Keller, and Chris Bubich. Obviously, Keller, he got injured, so that ended up becoming Alec Marsh. And Chris Bubich, he got injured as well. That ended up becoming Cole Reagans. Looking at the 2024 rotations currently, Michael Waka, Cole Reagans, Seth Lugo, Brady Singer, and Jordan Lyles. Definitely a significantly amount better than what it was last season. And the future looks bright for this Kansas City club going into the 2024 season. And I can't wait to see what this Royals team is able to do. I'm Ty Walker, reporting live from State Medical Community College, and we'll see you guys next episode of the Ty Walker Show. Peace.